Updating the modern world BIOS was a stressful thing to do. Back in the dark ages and even now, with all our modern motherboards that have security measures in place so you don't ruin the BIOS. Even so, I keep hearing of people completely destroying motherboards while trying to update their BIOSes. So I've decided to make a simple and quick tutorial on how to update your motherboard's BIOS safely and easily. What you need is a basic USB flash drive and for compatibility and safety reasons, make sure that this is an older USB flash drive, either USB 2.0 or 3.0, but not a USB Type-C. Some motherboards require an active driver for the USB Type-C ports to work all the time. So just to be sure and safe, use an older USB and you'll be fine. Insert the USB flash drive in one of the USB 2.0 ports located at the back of the motherboard. Yes, do not use the USB ports in your hub or your front panel of the case. Use a direct USB port, either a 2.0 which needs no drivers, or if you don't have those, use a 3.0 port. Once the USB thumb drive is connected to your PC, right click on it and click on Format. Then click on the Restore Default Options. This will revert the flash drive to its default format settings, which is usually FAT32. Again, for compatibility and safety, we are using older formats. Also, back up everything that you have on this USB flash drive because formatting it will delete everything on it. With the formatting done, open your preferred web browser and go to your motherboard's page on the manufacturer's website. Here you need to go to the support tab of the page and then the BIOS. Here you will look for the latest BIOS version for your motherboard. Stay clear of the beta BIOS releases as those are not yet fully tested with all system configurations. My motherboard being an older model, I'll use the latest BIOS update, which is a beta release. With the BIOS archive file downloaded, move it on the thumb drive and then extract it. Once the file is extracted, delete the archive and make sure that you only have the BIOS file you extracted. Do not rename it, leave it as it is. After all these are done, restart your system and as soon as the screen turns black, press on the delete button on your keyboard like the key owes you money. Do this until the BIOS appears on the screen. There's a high chance that the first thing you will see when entering the BIOS is the easy mode screen. You don't need this, so press F6 which usually enters you into the advanced mode of the BIOS. Now you will have different options as the BIOS layouts will vary based on each motherboard, so scroll through the pages until you find the UEFI flashback utility, also called just simply UEFI update or UEFI install. Again, the name will vary based on the manufacturer, so if you are not sure, just check your user manual for the motherboard. Select install flash and a small window will pop up with the name of the BIOS update file that you have stored on your flash drive. The BIOS should already scan your thumb drive and detect any compatible BIOS update files, so it's an automatic process in terms of selecting the update file. And now you just hit install and watch the slider progress, and your sanity dwindle with worry. On a more serious note, when the update is being installed, do not do anything with the computer. Do not turn it off, do not disconnect it from power, as that might result in a corrupted BIOS and thus an unusable motherboard. After the update is installed, you will get a message that tells you to hit enter and the system will reboot. Afterwards, you just wait and the system should start up as usual. The first boot with the update can be longer than normal so don't worry about it. And that's it. This is how you update your motherboard's BIOS with no issues. It's pretty simple once you do it once or twice on your own. Things to keep in mind. Use a USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 flash drive as on some motherboards the USB Type-C ports might need a driver to work properly or to at least be stable. So always be on the safe side and use a USB 2.0 or 3.0. Always reformat your flash drive to its factory settings, usually FAT32. Always download the latest version of the BIOS for your motherboard. Double and triple check that you are downloading the update for your motherboard and not something else. And that's it. Remember, you can always learn something new that will make your life better. Also, I am not responsible for anything you've done today, so we all make decisions and we have to live with the consequences. But now, you know how to update the BIOS and look good next to your friends.